Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to Dragon Ball Xenoverse. Today's Mod Monday is going to be a little different. We are actually taking a look at some mods that adjust some of the accessories, some of the outfits that you can use for your created character. So, as you can see, Johan is wearing baby's clothes, dude. I think this looks so cool. And one of the cool things about this is that you can actually change the colors of it. So this replaces the Wild Rider outfit. I actually can't remember what the Wild Rider outfit looks like. Um, but yeah, this replaces it and like I said, you can change the colors. So, okay, let's just do a quick zoom in. Yeah, this is awesome. It's flawless, really. I don't see any flaws in this mod. So, okay, let's take a look. Let's change some of the colors just so you can see what it looks like. Yeah, I don't know, dude. I think that looks pretty cool. Uh, but yeah, you can change basically anything. So we could change this white to, I don't know, like blue or something? <laughs> I don't know. I think the original is gonna look better than anything we do, but still. I don't know, man. I think this is just really, really cool. So another mod that I added today involves the hair so check this out this replaces piccolo's turban look at that dude so this one replaces piccolo's turban this one replaces android 19's hat i think this is super saiyan 4 vegeta <laughs> dude that is awesome that's super saiyan 4 vegeta's hair this is super saiyan 4 gogeta's hair i don't think they did a super saiyan 4 goku hair um but dude, doesn't that look sweet on Johan? And then for Pilaf's hat, I think this one is Super Saiyan Gogeta's hair, but really, dude, these hair options just look so sweet. I wish these were options we could do in the creative character normally, but hey, with the mod, we got it. I don't know, I think this one might be my favorite for Johan with this outfit. It just looks so sweet. Okay, so those are the hair options. There's actually one more that I don't have access to because you need Dr. Zoro's hat and you can't purchase it. You have to get Dr. Zoro's hat from a parallel quest and I'm actually gonna do that parallel quest in today's video. Hopefully we can get his hat, uh, but you get Broly's headband thing and hair. But check this out, guys. Dude. So we're, we're basically Majin Johan. So this one was actually kind of funny because they give like, I don't know, nine different mods in this one because the black outline around the eyes, it's different for each character. So I had to find out which one matches. And for Johan, I think it was number four. Uh, but yeah, dude, this is so sick. The, the only thing, I wish that I could use this on top of like one of those other hair accessories, but you can only have one accessory at a time. But dude, that's so stinging sweet. So what I'm thinking for today is we take a look at some of these different things in some of the cutscenes. We'll get a cool close up of him and we'll do that parallel quest. So here we go. Let's check him out in one of these cutscenes. I think this is one where we're just looking at the scroll or something. So I have the Majin symbol on. There we go. Dude, that looks so sick. Dude, I'm imagining we got the Majin symbol on. Johan's technically evil there. Imagine him just like blowing up that whole building. Okay, let's take a look at this one. And for this one, I have Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta's hair. <laughs> Here we go. All right, now I think at this point in the story, yeah, I think I was like unconscious or something and I wake up. Yeah, here we go. Dude, <laughs> this is actually really good. You get some really good close-ups in these cutscenes. Yeah, I kind of wish I could change the hair as well, but I don't know. I don't think you can do that. I think it's just it just takes on whatever hair color your character has, so that's cool. Okay, for this one, let's check it out with Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta's hair. <laughs> oh, he looks ticked. Yeah, dude. Man, the close-ups just look really good. And I do love the fact that these work in the cutscenes. That would stink if like the mod works, you know, when you're just putting the accessory on, but you can't see it in the cutscene, but that is pretty sweet. Okay, so let's do that parallel quest. Let's see if we can get Dr. Zoro's hat. There is a really low chance that we're gonna get it, but we gotta at least try. So what do we wanna do for hair? Dude, let's do this one. This one looks really cool. Yeah, this one looks awesome. 
So let's try to do this. Now, I think it's parallel quest. Yeah, 27. And we have a chance to get Dr. Rose hat. That's all we need to get. And we got to take out a bunch of Cell Juniors. And if we get the ultimate finish, I think we got to take out Android 17 and 18. I can't remember exactly what that last requirement is. But hey, it's worth a shot. Plus, I just want to see, I just want to see Johan in action wearing these different clothes and the accessories. Let's do this. We got Johan. And we'll get Captain Ginyu in there as well. Also known as King Cold. Uh, from a previous mod. And let's get a random. Okay. Raccoon with his hair blown off. <laughs> let's do this. Okay. All right. Now, I don't think there's any, like, special requirements we can do to increase the chances to get Dr. Zero's hat. I don't know. I think we just got to take these guys out. Okay. 3v1. The 3v1 against the Shell Juniors. Oh, that's not fair. Oh, I wonder what happens when I transform. What? Okay. Dude, that is sick. It keeps the same hair and makes it golden. That is so awesome. Okay, let's try your final shine attack. Dude, I did not expect that to happen. That is sweet. Okay, let's take out this Cell Junior. Man, so we're wearing baby's clothes. We got that different hairstyle. It turns gold when we go Super Saiyan. That is just awesome. Okay, just for the sake of time and so you didn't have to see me uh, just beating up a bunch of Cell Juniors. I cut it to the Android 17, 18 fight. I'm, oh wow. I'm assuming this is where we would get the Dr. Shiro's hat if we did get it. So we'll see. We're about to lose our transformation. But I'm really glad we did this. I'm really glad we decided to do this parallel quest. Otherwise I wouldn't have known that the hair changes color. Man, that actually would look really crazy with uh, the Super Saiyan 4. Yeah, that's pretty cool though. But yeah, I still haven't heard any word on a Xenoverse sequel game. But if they did, it would be awesome if you could have those additional hairstyles like a Super Saiyan 4. Or to be able to just transform into it in general would be awesome. Like, dude, being able to create a character, transform into Super Saiyan 3 and 4, that would be sick. Okay, I forgot to hold it down. Yeah, the longer you hold Final Shine Attack, the longer it lasts. There we go. 34 at combo. <laughs> Take her out. Android 18, you didn't know. You didn't know what you, you were getting into. Okay, let's hit her with, uh, ooh. Let's hit, let's hit Johan with an energy capsule. Hit her with a Milky Cannon. Oh, no. Ooh, that was close. Yeah, whenever they do that super electric strike, I try to get really close. We're usually able to avoid it that way. Okay, they're almost down. Let's take down Android 17. He's down. It didn't say we got anything. I'm assuming we would get it from 17, though, because he's the one who killed Dr. Jero. Oh, we got a skill. Okay. Dude, I'll take a skill. Nice. I do want Dr. Jero's hat. That was the main goal. But I kind of rather have a skill. Well, let's see what we got. Let's see what skill we got. Evasive skill rolling bullet. Okay. Okay. Well, dude, that was still fun nonetheless. We didn't get Dr. Rose hat. But we did get to see some cool stuff today. I really like these mods. I've never... This is actually the first mod I've ever done that affects your created character. And, dude, I think it's pretty sweet. Also, guys, let me know in the comments. Keep them coming for ideas for other things we should do, other mods we should check out. This one was really fun. Let me know your favorite part about it. But if you enjoyed the video, as always, feel free to hit that thumbs up button and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you guys in the next Dragon Ball Xenoverse. Dude, I think I just hit him with my bunny ears. <laughs> this kind of looks like him. It just looks slightly off. Give me a key. Yes. Yes, we got a Dragon Ball. This is great. Yeah, dude, this looks really good. He's got the scar on his face. Missing one arm. 